The Build Show coming to you from beautiful Portland, Maine. And check out the window and door package on this gorgeous house. Man, that is smooth. On this video, we're gonna be talking about European architectural supply. This is an importer of all kinds of really impressive European brands. I've used them before in a house that I built recently in Austin, Texas, but we've got the owner of the company in this video that's gonna be telling us all the ins and outs, what you need to know to order these really high performance windows from Europe. Today's build show is sponsored by EAS. Let's get going. All right, guys, I want to introduce you to Patrick Mozilla, the owner of European Architectural Supply that we often call EAS. Patrick, thanks for joining me today. No, welcome to this job. Good Man, to see you. this house, unbelievable. Oh, Gorgeous yeah. window and door what package here. Now, yeah. the American builder audience, though, we see a package like this. There's, there's this a little bit of the hair in the back of our neck standing up a little bit like, oh, I don't know. I've ordered stuff from Europe before and it was difficult or hard. Talk to me about EAS. How do you guys make it easy? I mean, you guys have been in business for two decades, so this is not your first rodeo. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we, 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 we've done this for about 19 years, and I think we're finally getting good at it. You know, <laughs> uh, you know windows are one of the most important purchases you make when yep. you make in a house. And in this house, you can see how important windows fenestration really is. Because yeah. the windows help you really get the most out of the lot you have, out of the view you have. Yep. And th that's why a lot of people are coming to us. Um, and you know, ordering windows um, you know, from a different country seems like a really scary concept. For sure. And I think it's really important to work with a company that can you know, kind of guide you through that uh, and, and, and make it easy and make it uh, you know, economically viable. Yeah, I think there's a couple of things that are particularly interesting and drew me to you guys right away when I met you a couple years ago. Uh, first off, I think it's really interesting. You've told me that almost half your company is stationed in Europe uh, where you're sourcing and looking for some of the best products. And in Europe, this triple glaze, super efficient frame, this style of window that we saw and door that we saw in this house, this is like an everyday occurrence. Uh, I even went to uh, the, uh, you know, the home center of Germany uh, and right on the aisle, ready to go, was a 3050 in UPVC uh, in triple glaze with all the same values that I think of for, for these windows. And it was like a, you know, a normal at the crappy home center window. This is no big deal in Europe, right? That's correct. Okay, so we've got this guy here that's got multiple chambers. Uh, you've got this, keeping your clear path to separate the inside from the outside. You've got your triple pane, one, two, three panes here. And then this is the structural piece right here. So you've got a structure here, 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 and here, which is going to help us with wind load as the door gets the wind pushed against it. And then we've got a brush seal here and here. And this piece right here is doing, is doing this action where you've got this bulb gasket, that bulb gasket, this one here, and that one there. So you actually have four seals here, plus the two brushes, which are keeping the water uh, from getting into that channel to begin with. You know, the, the window that you saw at the home center is kind of an unusual thing because 99% of windows in Europe are custom made to the masonry openings that you're dealing with. Oh, right. right. Now, the good news about it is that custom windows don't cost extra, mm -hmm. right? So if you need that window to be half an inch wider, it's just half an inch extra of wood or aluminum or PVC or glass, yeah. right? And that's good news. Uh, you know, it's, you know, it gets a little complicated when you're ordering the windows. You have a ton of flexibility of what you can do. Sure. You can typically do windows a little larger than mm -hmm. what you're used to here. Uh, and of course, architects love it, you know? So we see a lot of houses like this yeah. where you see, you know, wall-to-wall -wall glass, floor-to-ceiling glass. And yeah. I think that's, that's where our products really shine. And you've got a range of products and price ranges where this house is an aluminum, thermally broken, you know, powder coated aluminum. This is a really top of the line product, but you also have some less expensive products like the UPVC that I used at my house uh, that I built and finished recently. Super high performance, almost hard to tell it wasn't aluminum and yet it was UPVC. Talk to me about the range and costs and the value performance that you guys bring. Absolutely, so 19 years ago we started with our first brand of windows, mm -hmm. right? And over the years, uh, I, I believe now we carry six to seven brands of windows in different materials choices. So whether it's PVC, PVC clad in aluminum, PVC clad in color foil, wood, wood aluminum clad, 
and then different grades of aluminum windows and even a curtain wall. Um, and over the years, we've kind of become almost like fenestration consultants. So you come to us with your project and we'll tell you what is possible, uh -huh. uh, you know, what maybe needs to be a change in the design so that it's feasible yep. or feasible economically, right? Mm -hmm. And so we now have a pretty nice wide spectrum in terms of affordability. So yeah. we can get you the most economical, you know, per square foot cost window to achieve really great energy efficiency. And we can also get you, you know, a luxury, beautiful aluminum or wood aluminum clad window yeah. as well. Yeah. And, and as, you, as you're going through this process, we can guide you uh, through both the design as well as uh, the different material choices. Now talk to me about what that process looks like when you're not in Boston or Portland, Maine, because you guys are based out of Boston. We're only an hour and a half, two hours from your job, but yet you shipped me a full window and door package all the way down to Texas. What does that look like for builders all over the U.S.? Yeah, so we really, uh, it's great to get us engaged early on. So mm -hmm. quite often we have architects who send us blueprints earlier on the design and show us the elevation, say, are you guys, is, can everything be done on this drawing? And we look at the living room and say, you know, you have 13 foot tall sliding doors right over in this living room. That's too tall for a sliding door. We have to rethink that. Is yeah. there going to be a transom there, right? That we're going to put a beam across. Uh -huh. And, and it's, it's good to solve this problem like early on in design yeah. than when you're trying to order the window. Windows, yeah. right? Or we can uh, recommend someone a, a way to break up a window to really bring the budget down, right? Mm -hmm. We're 20% over budget with this window package right here. What can we do? Yeah. You know, we're tempering the glass all the way down to the floor. If we break up this fixed window wall, mm -hmm. you know, with a horizontal Smart. bar, now we no longer have to temper the glass up above and you may have just saved $3,000 in your window package. Yeah, that's right. It's interesting to think too, you know, in the, in the news now, we've got a, a war going on in Ukraine. Uh, but Europe's always had struggles with energy prices being much higher than the U.S. Uh, and I think that really has driven what we're seeing here in this house uh, being a pretty normal window in Europe, but being a little unusual for, for us in America. We think of an efficient double glaze window as a great window, and yet these are maybe 50% more efficient than the house being built next door. At Can you talk to me about that a little bit? Yeah, at least 50%, yeah. So Europeans, uh, in terms of the R values of their windows, were kind of 15 to 20 years ahead of us technologically. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, as a result of that, you know, whenever we sell windows to customers, we can make the statement, you know, we think your window is probably gonna be the most efficient window in town still about 10 years from now. Wow. You know, so you are, you are kind of purchasing, you're way ahead of the, the, the kind of the energy chart. A curve. decade ahead. A decade ahead, yeah, quite, quite confidently, right? And, um, and that's good because, you know, one, windows are expensive. Mm -hmm. Two, window installation is really expensive. So it, it makes sense if you can afford it uh, to install the best possible window you can today, yeah. right? So you don't have to worry about replacing it, you know, anytime soon. It makes sense. And, uh, and, and with most of the products that we sell, we, we, we operate at the top of the energy charts. Yeah. Talk to me about install. You know, when we think about these windows and doors on this project, we've got a lot of glass. I'm thinking these are super heavy. How am I as a builder? Uh, going to take a window and door system like this that seems like it's thousands of pounds off the truck and install it? I think that's, that, that's, that's one place where we do a really good job as a, as, a, as a window supplier. One, you know, we watch the weight early on as we're designing the system. We advise on the division of the, the, the panels so or the size of the sliding doors based on the, the weight requirements. When you order the windows from us, we worry about how we get the windows to you. So we 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 we, we Google the street view of your job site three months <laughs> really? in advance, That's awesome. and we say that seems like a 500 foot driveway through a forest. Is that going to be okay? <laughs> We're going through a, a bridge. Does that bridge have the weight limit? You know, for the truck to That's get really through, etc. It's just great to be solving those problems ahead of time than the morning when the windows show up. Yeah, right. 100%. A lot of our windows, you know, within the five hour driving radius of of uh, Boston are delivered uh, with ES trucks with our drivers who are also window installers. Uh -huh. So the person who comes and delivers the windows to you is also an installer. Wow. So apart from like you know unloading the windows, they can also spend all the time with you and show you installation techniques, show awesome. you how to maybe remove a sash, operable sash from a frame, yep. uh, give you some pointers on taping or, or waterproofing details as well. And we do a lot of that, believe it or not. And, and I've been a lot around a lot of your jobs that have been installed, but having installed one myself, I can tell you once we got a window or two in, things really sped up. And, and we were a little concerned at first, like, I don't know about these, uh, you know, frame uh, screw in the side, but 
once we did one, it was like, oh, this is no big deal. We just got to change the way we're used to doing it with a flanged window. And once we figured that out, it was no big deal. Well, I, I think that this, what I would call the standard size North American window, let, let's call it the three by five window. So those windows are really easy to install. Yeah. They are still small enough that even the weight of the triple pane glass is not really difficult for two carpenters to, yeah. to install. And I think they install from inside really easily. You can install in any weather. You work from the inside of the building. You're not, you're not on a scaffolding. You're not in the muddy mm. you know, out exterior. And you can do a really good job uh, doing it. We also think that flangeless installation is more waterproof than mm -hmm. a flanged one, which mm -hmm. seems counterintuitive. But with the high performance tapes we have these days, you can create incredibly reliable uh, connection. We had a huge rainstorm around this house. And there's no cladding on the outside of this yeah, house. And yeah. I have not seen a puddle anywhere no, right. in the house at all, beautiful. right? Great point. Um, the biggest challenge comes with window packages like you see in this house. Mm -hmm. So there, we can see a lot of wall-to-wall -wall glass, a lot of floor-to-ceiling glass. Almost every window panel we'd look at is probably over 350 pounds right wow. here. This is the kind of job site that you really have to plan ahead and yeah. work with us on it. So we do it when we palletize and package the windows. Uh, we even have packing plans that we can share with the builders two months in advance. Mm -hmm. You know, in, in this particular case, we had a little bit of a challenge getting to the upstairs of the second structure in here. And we let the builder know, we think you're gonna have to remove a little bit of the exterior wall to get the heavy pallets ah, onto that smart. floor with the lull. And you know, when they did that, they, they had the right machine here at the time of delivery. And suddenly you unloaded, you know, 12,000 pounds of glass in a few hours, oh right? Gosh. And that makes all the difference. <laughs> yeah. Six tons of glass on the project, yeah. they went in no problem. Absolutely, well, I wouldn't say no problem, right. but we tried Just to make it as, as, as easy as possible. Hey Patrick, my grandparents were immigrants from Europe, so I have a real personal connection to immigrants, and I noticed you've got a little bit of an accent. Uh, would you mind telling these guys a little bit of your history and your background? Yeah, I'm originally from former Czechoslovakia, okay. which is two countries now, so I'm from Slovakia. And I came uh, to this country as a student. I, I, I got my college degree here and I started a software company while I was still in college. Uh, the company was really successful. You know, we sold it um, to, to a large software company and I uh, was really interested in construction. I wanted to build a great house, right? And so I was, uh, you know, build show wasn't around yet. <laughs> you know, I was a big, you know, I was watching this old house and, and I ended up becoming a general contractor for this house. Awesome. And so I am I'm building this great house. I'm trying to do energy efficiency. I'm trying to do everything, uh, you know, great, build a really good house, uh -huh. right? And when I'm looking at window choices, you know, I was somewhat disappointed with, with what we had here in the North American marketplace. And uh, uh, so my father, you know, told me to, why don't you come back over here, have a look at the, one of the straight shows. There's a great windows being made over, the, over here. And I found windows that were far more efficient than what we had here at a really reasonable cost. How about that? And so I was still, uh, you know, kind of concerned, like, you know, buying windows in another country seems kind of scary, mm -hmm. right? But I looked at the kind of the shipping logistics that was involved and it wasn't as hard as, as, uh, as it seemed. You know, we can get windows from our factory, you know, to the job site in about 22 days. You That's know, not bad at all. Yeah, which is pretty great. And I actually wasn't the customer number one. A friend of mine, you know, overheard me mentioning this and he was building a house, it was like, can I have a look at those windows? And he said, I'd like to order these windows too. So he was customer number two, uh, number one, I was customer number two, and uh, you know, the whole company was kind of an accident. That's crazy, and yeah. 20 years later, or 19 years later, here you are, yeah. providing windows all over the US. Yeah, yeah, we're one of the largest importers of high efficiency European windows right now. And we play a big role in, in changing you know, how we're gonna be building buildings here, I think, for the next uh, many decades. Yeah, and for my builder friends watching this, I know we've worked on our walls, uh, in our insulation details, and in our air ceiling for years, and we've had these, I think some of my friends watching this are building incredible houses, but I've always been disappointed uh, with my blower door scores and how leaky my windows are, and how much, if you look at the energy use in the house, how much we lose or gain through our window and door package. So by going to your products that are 50 plus more, maybe 100% more efficient than some of the American counterparts or some of the American codes, giant jump in performance and amazing difference when it comes to air sealing. That's one of the things that I think is uh, really lacking. And as a quick for instance, I was asking Jason, the builder in this project earlier about wind and water load, and we're just gonna get pounded on this job and I think you mentioned the windows in, this back, in the back of this house. 
have a DP rating of, what did you say it was? 85, yeah. DP 85, that's huge. That's yeah. way above some of the competitors. Yeah. I just looked at a sliding door system for another client uh, for a, uh, I don't wanna say their name, for a, a manufacturer that's out in the Western side of the US and their sliding door package was a DP 25. So yeah. this is three times better at holding out water and wind. Yeah, so, so, so the DP rating, the air tightness, and the water infiltration resistance, right? Mm -hmm. It comes out of uh, the rating as well. You, you notice there were a couple of airplanes that flew by yeah. this building? Air tightness becomes really important if, whenever you want to keep noise outside of a building. That's it makes right. a huge, huge difference. The yes. ability for the window to seal against all of its gas and kind of make reliable connections there takes care of half of the sound attenuation that you that, that you want from a window. Yeah. And uh, you know, a lot of our customers that are purchasing our windows in big cities because of energy performance mm -hmm. are realizing that some of their greatest benefit once quiet. they install the windows is the quiet. Yeah. Yeah. That's a big deal. It's a big one, yeah. That's really cool. Uh, it's hard to, I'm gonna ask you a hard question here, and it's gonna be hard to answer this one knowing this is a national audience and we're publishing here in 2022. Can you give us any price guidance? Uh, on what to expect uh, from this style of European window? Yeah, so, so we currently sell a wide range of different products and product types within the category. So they're categorized kind of by the material, the mm -hmm. UPVC windows, uh, aluminum windows, and our wooden wood and clad windows. With the white UPVC windows, especially with fixed class, like what we see here like in the background, mm -hmm. you get the absolute lowest cost per square foot for a really top efficiency window. Got it. You can be hovering at like $35 per square foot, which wow. is really good. That's really right? good. As you go up uh, the scale, you know, you go with the PVC window with foil on it, the price goes up. Uh, PVC windows that aluminum cladding on it, the price goes up a little bit. Then you get maybe to our lower uh, uh, lower grade aluminum windows with a slightly smaller thermal break, mm -hmm. or, you know, maybe a 70 millimeter uh, window. And you, you move through, you know, $50 a square foot, $55 a square foot, and to our kind of the most expensive luxury, uh, you know, product or uh, just the most expensive product mm -hmm. by material choice, aluminum windows or wood aluminum clad windows at hovering maybe all the way to 100 or over $100 per square foot. Gotcha. But it really depends on the configuration that you, uh, that, that, that you make. Fixed windows are Always. about 40% cheaper than operable windows. You so you can see in this building right here, there's a lot of fixed glass yep. in here. And that gives you a much lower per square foot price versus the operable unit next to it. Sure, that makes sense. So. Uh, I always think of sliding doors on a linear foot price. Uh, so, you know, an eight or nine foot slider, let's say for each linear foot of slider, I often tell clients, you know, you're looking at a thousand dollars, a linear foot. So a uh, 10 foot door, that could be $10,000 worth yeah. of door. So we have a few doors which are less than that. You can be as, as low as $700. Uh, dollars per linear foot okay. and uh, and some really large really tall aluminum doors you can be over a thousand dollars a limit in foot we How do a tall lot can of, you guys go we go to about 10 feet okay yeah and that's you can still do it at 110 miles per hour wow yeah. holy cow 110 yeah. that's incredible yeah and one of the things that steve basic has preached for years having been a client of yours for a long time has been he loves your product because you can get bigger glass sizes uh less frame more glass than some of the American competitors. Can you comment on that at all? Absolutely. So uh, here is also the difference between materials. So we might be working with a client that budgetarily is working on a PVC window package, but they, for instance, want a wall of glass like what we're seeing behind here. And they only want to see one million back there. And we, we do the, the engineering calculations on it. We find out that to achieve that kind of size, you really want to use an aluminum extrusion, right? Mm -hmm. And we, we show them which window it is, what the cost differential is. Uh, the really great thing uh, about a lot of the European, primarily aluminum manufacturers in Europe, that they are capable of designing specific window assemblies for us for the specific wind load or the DP rating that we give them. So we can say this house requires a DP of 37, mm -hmm. and they designed for us every window assembly to that uh, value. Ah. And if any of our windows is not satisfying that, they'll recommend which design decisions we have to make. So for instance, a giant 15 foot uh, wall of glass that only had one million in the middle, they say you either have to have two millions in here or you have to reduce the height by six inches. Got it. And it's really great to have the confidence of knowing that this window assembly was actually scrutinized 
for the specific you know wind load that you're looking for for this building. Yeah. It makes a, it's going to make a huge difference when a Category Two hurricane yeah. you know is going to swing through this area, which eventually will happen. Yeah, that's right, hundred percent. What do we miss, Patrick? Super interesting to talk to you, brother. I mean, my, uh, you know, there are a lot of companies uh, that are in our line of business. When you are choosing to to purchase a, a package window package from Europe, it probably has to be a package of a certain size so it makes sense. Yep. Uh, You're not going to order three windows. Correct. Correct. Uh, pick carefully, like who you work with when you're doing the importation. Make sure that the company is there, not just to sell you windows, but also support them down the line. Yeah. That they have the logistical infrastructure to support you through that that delivery process and the after sale process as well. We think as a company, we finally got really good at that, uh, and it, it takes a while. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Big time. Patrick, yeah. so good to catch up with you, man. We'll put a link below to Patrick's company, European Architectural Supply, based out of Boston. Shipping really everywhere in America, North America too. You ship it in Canada as well. Uh, mostly, mostly in the United States and mostly um, uh, east of the Rockies. Okay, mostly yeah. east of the Rockies. Yeah, guys, really, really cool company. And big thanks to Jason for having us on his job site today. Uh, I'll put a link to those guys. Make sure you check out the other video that I made with him. Full tour of this gorgeous house right here on the Portland Main Harbor. Unbelievable! What a fun trip. Guys, if you're not currently a subscriber, hit that subscribe button below. We've got new content here every Tuesday and every Friday. Follow me on TikTok or Instagram. Otherwise, we'll see you next time on The Build Show.